Living neural networks in the brain enable us to perform multiple cognitive tasks, such as visual and auditory processing and decision making. Artificial systems are also getting increasingly successful at some of these cognitive tasks. However, it takes a large number of engineers countless hours to handcraft architecture to optimize AI system performance. Our brains, on the other hand, grow from a single cell and self-organize their complex architecture through developmental algorithms, like those guiding the growth of the layered cortex in this animation. Inspired by the development of the mammalian visual system, we have created strategies for growing retinotopic pooling networks autonomously from a single computational cell, which self-organizes its architecture by implementing a wiring algorithm. Mammalian visual circuitry is stereotypical across organisms and is established before a newborn even opens its eyes. Meister et al. proposed that noise-generated activity waves tiding the retina during development could play an important role in guiding connectivity between these parts. Based on this concept, we built a spiking neural network model with two layers, one input sensor nodes and two processing units. Noisy communication between input sensor nodes resulted in emergent traveling waves that also served as a teaching signal to other layers. After implementing a Hebbian learning rule that enforced neurons that fire together wire together, we were able to create self-organizing pooling networks. We observed that the stochastic nature of the traveling wave and the versatile learning rule endowed the developmental algorithm with some application-friendly features. It is flexible. We observed emergent activity waves on a range of sensor node geometries. Processing spherical images produced by omnidirectional cameras placed on drones requires non-planar CNNs. Our developmental algorithm provides a one-stop solution for all geometries and topologies of sensor arrays. We found that random damage of sensors in the input layer did not check the process of self-organization and the pooling network continued to emerge. Emergent pooling networks can be reconfigured to have different shapes and sizes. This tuning curve demonstrates that self-organized pooling networks can have oriented filters specific to different orientations. As the developmental algorithm is both flexible and robust, it can be implemented for growing a network from a single unit, endowed with a small set of local rules. In this growth simulation, we see a single unit divide, multiply, and migrate to populate layer 1. Emergent spontaneous traveling waves style layer 1, and once some nodes reach their critical local density, they divide to form processing units that migrate to higher layers. The emergent activity wave in layer 1 influences the connectivity between the layers, ultimately resulting in retinotopic pooling networks. We also demonstrated that networks grown and self-organized from a single cell are functional and can be used to perform conventional machine learning tasks like image classification. Networks grown from a single unit perform as well as handcrafted ones. Next, we intend to implement this developmental algorithm on neuromorphic hardware to enable flexible growth of functional complex neural nets, thus eliminating the need for meticulous hard coding of complex networks. Thanks for watching.